Jesus for president. Have you seen uh, these signs around there? They're not super common, but you can find them. <clears throat> T-shirts or bumper stickers. Um, that It's a sentiment that's that's actually quite real. There, there are people today who, if Jesus was walking around, would love to see him elected as our next president. As a, as a better choice on the ballot than perhaps what we've got. <clears throat> it's not a new sentiment. You might know that in Jesus' day, there wasn't a presidency, there wasn't an election, but there was a king, and, and there were a lot of people around Jesus, some in his inner circle, who wanted to make him king, who wanted to see him um, granted or seize political power um, because they believe that that was what the Messiah had come to do to to bring God's kingdom through those those means um, so it's not a new idea um, in Jesus' day you might also know that this relationship uh, between the kingdom of God and the kingdoms of this world or government was complicated and not everybody saw it the same way. There's a lot of different ways people approach this. In, in Jesus' day, Israel was subject to Rome. Um, Rome had essentially colonized Israel and and so there were different approaches among the Jews about how to relate um, as God's people to the kingdom of Rome, if you will. Um, there were some people like um, the tax collectors or the Sadducees, which was a, a Jewish sect, who wanted to work in cooperation with Rome. And they believed that was the best way for God's people to kind of kind of become a part of the, of the government as best they could. There were others, like the Zealots, um, the Pharisees, who were against, who wanted to take down um, the current administration and install their own um, Government, And there were others like the Essenes, Ess Essenes who wanted to just get away from it all and just had wanted nothing to do with worldly governments. Um, I'm sure there are some of us who who fit into that category, just have had enough and want to escape all of it. Um, the, these challenges don't, don't end today. Um, there are plenty of people within the church on both sides of the political aisle who who still want to engage and would like to make Jesus president and would or would imagine that the way to see God's purposes, God's mission, God's kingdom, if you, if you will, come to fruition is through political means. If we can, uh, people don't put it that way usually, but it sounds more like this. If we, if we can get the right person elected, if we can get the right people elected, if we can get the right policies in place, then... Finally, we can see God's purposes come about. Um, it's an old idea that we're going to explore this Sunday. Looking at a passage of scripture from Mark chapter 10, it's verses 32 to 45, and I <clears throat> would encourage you to read beforehand. It's <clears throat> in that passage, Jesus kind of lays out the way that he, the kingdom of God is going to come. But two of his disciples, probably speaking for the others, uh, James and John, come to him and reveal they have another way of thinking about it. And Jesus uses it as an opportunity to do some some teaching and correcting um, that I think is something that we need to hear as a church today as well. Um, so I encourage you to come Sunday, you know, having read that passage, reflect on it some. Um, and um, we're going to think about politics together in ways that Jesus thinks about politics. Um, as a, a bit of a side note, but related, Sunday afternoon, we will begin a course called The After Party. We've been talking about this for some time. We've already got about 30 or so or more people signed up. And um, in the email I'll send out, there's a there's a, a link to uh, a trailer for that. And you may want to think about coming and at least checking it out. If you're not sure, come the first session, see what you think. And if, if it's not for you, no worries. If it is, you may want to continue on. Um, so I look forward to being with you Sunday and today, wherever you are, I, I trust that you will sense the 
the love of God your Father and the grace of Christ and the presence of, of the Spirit. Peace.